Times have really changed since uh, I last came to McDermott Park to watch uh, St. Johnston play here in Perth. Uh, when I was here last time, they were playing the likes of Lask and Galatasaray. I was watching Arda Turan and Ryan Babel and Patrick Van Arnholt here um, at McDermott Park. Whereas now, St. Johnston haven't won in ages in the league. And we've gone from uh, Callum Davidson being linked with the vacant Rangers manager's job to them languishing right at the bottom of the Scottish Premiership. St Johnson are bottom of the Scottish Premiership with just 14 points and Dundee are one place above them with 16 points. This is a massive relegation battle today which the Saints are going to have to win but just looking at the form of the two teams, St Johnston have lost their last five that I'm looking at right now and Dundee have lost four of their last five, their only win coming at Dumbarton in the Cup. St Johnston even lost against my favourite team in Scotland, Kelty Hearts at Kelty Hearts just recently. I was at Auckland Talbot v Hearts uh, that cup weekend so sadly I couldn't see uh, the massive historic game for Kelty but yeah it just kind of goes to show the state that the club are in right now they've gone from a cup double last season in which they were the holders of the Scottish Cups getting knocked out by a League Two team and they're only on just 14 points in the Premiership after 21 games. Tonight is absolutely huge for both clubs. It's a grim day out there. We might see some grim football on the pitch based on uh, kind of the form uh, that I just spoke about then. So yeah, who knows how today's gonna pan out. Um, I'm just hoping for some goals and a bit of action. The last time I came here, the St Johnston fans were fantastic. So if I can meet a few good characters again, that's all I can ask for. Please do remember to hit that like button. It is right down below. It takes less than a second for you to hit it. And uh, for me, just driving through the wintry wilderness on a horrible, grim, rainy, windy day, uh, please, yeah, that would make my night if you could all smash that like button. It really helps these videos to get seen. I also just want to say a massive thank you to Fanbase for jumping on again in 2022 and sponsoring this video. Fanbase are a ticketing company for Scottish football matches, and they cover a whole host of teams that you can see up and down the country. We've been working together for close to a year now and uh, they've really made improvements to the app including scanning improvements, they are digitalizing hospitality as well as just your normal match day tickets. You can now get push notifications within the app, you can print your tickets at home or have digital tickets. There are developments and improvements being made for disabled fans and there are lots of ways for fans to engage with their clubs. It isn't just a ticketing platform anymore but it's going to become more of a content hub for your favorite clubs up and down the land. Please do go and download Fanbase and buy tickets and go and support some of the great Scottish teams that are in this amazing country. Right, intro done, sponsored segment done. <laughs> Gotta go out there in a minute. Bloody hell. Two years ago I was in Spain at this point. Could you just firstly introduce yourself? We've just spoken and you've uh, got quite the task on your hands, haven't you? Yeah, um, my name's Simon. I live in Milton Keynes. Yep. Uh, I'm doing the 134. Yep. So that's all the league grounds in that's England all the and league Scotland. Grounds and in Scotland. Yep. And this one, it, after tonight, I'll have. 22 left. Wow, so you're getting close to completing it. That's some achievement. You must be very proud. What's been your favourite one you've been to in Scotland? Uh, well, because it was Rangers. Rangers? Because it was against Celtic. Oh, you've been to an old firm derby? Yes. Wow. What are your initial impressions on St Johnston then? Uh, well, I'm old enough to remember Muirton Park. Okay, yeah. And it looks nice. Very modern. Very modern. Yep. The only thing is, though, it's a bit I, I, because I don't drive. It's a bit tricky to get to. Yes. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And um, do you have any con preconceptions going into the game? Both teams are struggling. Do you think one oh. team will come out with the uh, with the points oh. or? Long as I, long as I see the game in its entirety yep. and. If I get goals, great. If I don't, it doesn't matter. Well, good luck on the rest of your quest. You were at St Mirren okay. last night and you said you might be going to Albion Rovers or Dumbarton at the weekend. Yeah. So all the best. Yeah, I hope you, uh, hope you tick them all off soon. I hope so too. These are the grounds that you have left then. So you say you've done all of the ones in England, but I can see a few on there. Obviously St Johnston down the bottom yeah. and then Airdrie, Albion Rovers. Also, some of them are quite dotted about. Elgin, you've got to go up to Elgin. Kelty Hearts, my favourites, Inverness as well.
I can see there, Mike, you've got your uh, Galatasaray Europa League scarf yeah, yeah. on there. Yeah. Times have changed a little bit yeah, for yeah, Saints days, since then. Yeah, good old days of the summer. Yeah, yeah, it seems like a long time ago that. Mm. How's uh, the season panned out since then for the Saints? Uh, ropey at best, yeah. Um, I know, uh, Carl Davidson was saying before Christmas there that he's looked at everything to get the scoring goals. You haven't, you haven't changed anything. Yeah. Um, Davidson is not married to the five at the back. Um, and that he's, you know, he picks his system based on who the players are. Yeah. So it doesn't change anything. <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of that was an Einstein quote, you know, isn't it? Doing the same thing, expecting a different result. And it being insanity, that's kind of how it feels. The definition of, in, of insanity, I believe. Yeah, yeah. And so how big does today feel against Dundee? I kind of, if, if we win it, then I think we're in the driving seat to make sure that we're in the playoff spot at worst. Yeah. If they win it and we're five points behind them, I can't see us being five points better than anyone. Score prediction then for today? I'd love to be optimistic, but I, I can't. T ten wins, uh, ten losses on the uh, losses on the bounce. Yeah, I'd, I'd say I'll say one each. So we kind of met before. Kind of. If you'd like to explain uh, who you are and kind of what you're doing here at the game well, today. I'm a sports journalist student as well. I yep. interviewed you about 16 months ago. Yeah. When your channel was less than 10,000, so it's actually. Of course, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Watch you develop as well. So. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah it's been really and you know Ryan uh, Fitzsimons, Fitzsimons, Ryan Mulroney, who people might know. Well. Yeah. So it's a small world. And you're a neutral here today. Um, yes. Both teams are struggling. What do you think the game will be like? Uh, it's going to no, no, written all over. That's exactly what I'm thinking. All 4-3. Uh, I know, it's going to be one of the two. Yeah. Um, but both teams are struggling. You see, even look at the signs up in the, in the door. It's showing you that they're cup victories from, from last year. And, uh, years yeah. and a long time. Ago. I came here for the two European qualifiers in the summer and look how much it's all changed. Yep, from two cup finals and the manager getting linked with a Rangers job mm -hmm. earlier this season to be in bottom of the league. Yeah, so it just, it's just amazing how quick things can change, especially in Scottish football. It's, it's, a, it's a tighten of a, a league. I don't think people realise just how yeah. how amazing Scottish football is. And yeah. the likes of the work that you do yourself, it really just a league. Well, there's not, a, not many teams in each league, so there's not a lot of space between mm -hmm. even Rangers and Celtic and teams in League 1 and League yeah. 2. There's yeah. really not that many spaces. Uh, and, Especially the form it's St Johnson and Dundee in. Yep. I, I wouldn't see them doing well against the top four of the championship just now as well. I think they'd really struggle. Yeah. Um, so, there, as you say, there, there's not a big margin between all the teams. Yeah. Uh, you've seen even the Scottish Cup results as well. I think that showed just how... Well, Saints got knocked out against Kelty. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, I was up at the East Coast Pride game for Peterhead and Peterhead in League One, East Coast Pride Golden League. Yeah. Took me penalties. So, yeah. so there's, there's Although there's two divisions between the two, and there's not. There's not a huge amount of difference. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly that. Hi, mate. How are you doing? Good, thank you. How are you? Good. Cheers. Thank you very much. Score predictions for today. One nil Saints. One nil Saints and. Yeah, one nil Saints. So uh, Hamish, big Saints fan. Yeah. Uh, you saw the Galatasaray video, yeah. so thank you very much. Times have obviously changed since then. Times have changed. I think, I don't, I think um, if we lose this game, I think it's definitely where I said to somebody at the. I, I was at a Sunny League game, and if we lost that, I think. Like when we watch the Celt when we watch the Kelly Hard games, I think if we like definitely look at that and lose, I think we're definitely in deep trouble. And yeah. we did lose it. Yeah. So I think like looking at that, like we had we had great chances to go and win it. Yep. But I think their keeper, Jameson made some unbelievable saves. I think we need oh definitely. Ali Crawford, I think he could have scored he could have scored the top corner, yep. but yep. that keeper, oh my god. Yeah. Great. But no, like definitely I think we could have won the game, but I think we need we need to go for like basic football, basic formation, yeah. and then we'll win. Yeah. Basic formation, like starting from like. Take it back to basics. Ba like I don't think the I don't think the three at the back works. I don't. I how, really don't think so. And how big is today? Obviously Dundee are just oh, warming great. up over there. They are one so, place above you. I would I would say like you look at you look at like our games before in the season. I think yeah. that was our biggest game of the season. Definitely hundred percent. Score prediction then. 
I'm going to say 2 1 Saints. I'm hoping 2 1 Saints. I hope so too, mate. Enjoy the game if you can. So you saw the Galatasaray video, obviously times are different now. How has the season gone for you guys? The season has gone totally to rubbish, man. But with Callum, Callum saying all the right things, the players need to realise it's like a fight. Yeah. We're in a really relegation battle. Yeah. It's time to just put it on the pitch. Yeah. Leave the pitch, leave it all on the pitch. Yeah, of course. Tonight, the final time tonight. Yeah. And uh, what do you think the score will be today then? I think uh, I'm going 3-0 since one time. 3-0, huge, and yourself? 2-0 Saints. 2-0 Saints. Let's hope they can win anyway. So obviously Perth's are like one team city really, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, Especially yeah. in big teams. So yeah. a derby against Dundee and Dundee United is probably the biggest game of your season. Uh, yeah, to be honest, we don't mind Dundee United, they're all right. But, uh, but Dundee's the big Dundee, one. Dundee's the big one. Nice, Dundee's okay. <laughs> so there's a bit of a display in here, as you can see. There are some banners that are going up. Um, so there's always a great atmosphere in here, even for the European games, it was obviously amazing, but it's a nice and massive relegation battle, and it's still huge, obviously the Dundee fans are over there, they hate Dundee, it's a massive derby, and uh, it's going to be some atmosphere, despite where both teams are in the table. I have no idea what it says. Thank <laughs> you. 
you. Look, he's bought me a pie. Oh, mate, absolute legend. I get such a good reception at St. John's, and that is why. Best thing about the fat bar. It's the place of food, yeah. Well, today, anyway, definitely. Free kick right at the end of the half. For the Saints. Just demolished that pie. That was incredible. Only had some pineapple on the way for dinner. The protein bar. Oh. Half time. Gets another game that is nil-nil at half time. See you in the second half. So, but I was going to say people might recognise you, but you've been recognised before from the Galatasaray game. What day that was? Oh, so that was, you know what? That day was unreal. It'll be something that we'll never forget. And you're in the thumbnail as well, and it's great to see you again. But obviously times have changed since then. Saints are having a bit of a struggle. Yeah. A bit of a meal. So what do you think they need to do in the second half to sort of turn this round and you know, try and win the game? I think we're, we're just like missing that cutting edge. I think every fan will agree we're missing that cutting edge. It's just that last forward pass. We seem to be just missing yeah. that that pass forward just to get somebody in the box, just take our chance. But we're quite happy going sideways and we're yeah. very happy going back side to side. But yeah. that final push is just missing. Honestly, one of the best I've ever been to. Like I said, when I was in there, the atmosphere, even towards the end, and it was nil-nil, and um, their two teams battling relegation was actually really, really good. And the Saints fans, unbelievable with me. We, I got bought a pie, of course. I met uh, Simon, the ground hopper, before the game, as well as just loads of other faces that I'd seen when I'd been here before for the two St. Johnston games. So to everyone who said hello and waved at me in the crowd and that, even if you didn't come up and say hi, a massive thank you for all the support on the Saints videos. Absolutely love your club. And even though, yes, I did do a Scottish badges video where I said um, I wasn't a massive fan of the St. Johnston badge. It just needs modernizing a little bit, that's all. I still love the club. And I actually, even though I didn't like the badge, I said that you had the best atmosphere in Scotland of what I've seen, which is true. That game against Galatasaray is the best atmosphere I've ever had in Scotland. What a club St. Johnston are. I cannot wait to come back again. Everyone's asking when I'm coming back, so it will be soon. I absolutely love this club. One of my absolute favourites, and they're definitely, definitely on the legends list, along with clubs like Kelty Hearts, sorry again to mention them, um, Sparta Prague for me, Bali United, Central Coast Mariners. Um, there's loads of clubs that I have affinities with since uh, doing YouTube. Stenhouse Muir, and yeah, St. Johnston are one of them. I absolutely love them. Blackpool, Middlesbrough. Really cool clubs who I've seen on the videos who um, who have just like treated me really well. And the Saints fans are right up there with all that. A massive thank you for watching. Please could you hit that like button. It really, really does help. And subscribe if you're new for more football content from all around the UK and hopefully around the world once a few of the restrictions ease. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave some videos on screen. Please do click on one to carry on watching. Until the next one, cheers and goodbye.